Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover the following topics. If they are familiar to you, please skip the video to the questions, answer them, put your answer in the comment section below. If they are not, just join my class. Hi and welcome again to my class and this video gonna talk about alcohols this video belongs to a set of videos talking about organic compounds if you are interested to know more about these organic compounds you can find useful links in the description below alcohols are characterized by having the functional group OH or which we call it hydroxyl group like if we have methane and one of the H's is replaced by hydroxyl group then we're gonna call it methanol and when we have two hydroxyl groups, we're gonna use the prefix di and three tri and so on. So here if we have methane with two hydroxyl groups, it's going to be called methane diol. As you notice that we kept the E and we added diol. And now let's start naming branched alcohols like this compound. If you think that the longest chain is going to be like this, you did a mistake. Since the carbon that is joined to the hydroxyl group is not included in the longest chain. And because hydroxyl groups have the priority over alkyl groups, so it must be in the longest chain. So the longest chain is going to be like this. And after assigning the longest chain, then we move to the next step which is naming the substituents or the branches. Here we have one carbon atom group, so it's called methyl. And here we have two carbon atoms group. So we call it ethyl and after naming the branches we have to number the carbon atoms since the priority is for the hydroxyl group we have to start from the end which is closer to the hydroxyl group and the last step is to name the whole compound keep in mind that when we have different branches we have to name them according to their alphabetical order so we start with the ethyl then the methyl so the name is going to be 2 ethyl 3 methyl 1 pentanol which means that we have ethyl at carbon 2 methyl at carbon 3 and hydroxyl group at carbon 1 and now let's practice naming such compounds where we have hydroxyl group and halogen substituents here is the longest chain and always hydroxyl groups have the priority over halogen substituents in the longest chain and in numbering the carbon atoms the groups here are methyl and bromo we start numbering from the end closer to the hydroxyl group then we name the branches according to their alphabetical order the name is going to be 5-bromo-3-methyl-2-pentanol here is another example but with the skeletal formula this is the longest chain we have three branches chloro, methyl and ethyl as I told you before that we have to start numbering from the end closer to the hydroxyl group and the name is going to be 5-chloro-2-ethyl-3-methyl-1-hexanol In all the previous structures we had only one hydroxyl group but what if we have two hydroxyl groups in the same structure like what do we have here? When we have more than one hydroxyl group the longest chain should include the maximum possible number of hydroxyl groups like here the longest chain is going to be like this to include both hydroxyl groups and here we have one branch which is ethyl and when we want to number the carbon atoms we have to number them from the end that gives the two hydroxyl groups the lowest number possible so if we start numbering from the left side the hydroxyl groups are going to be at carbon 2 and carbon 4 but if we start numbering from the right side then the hydroxyl groups are going to be at carbon 1 and carbon 3 that's why we're going to start numbering the carbon atoms from the right side and the name is going to be 2-ethyl-1,3-butane-diol let's have another example but with the three hydroxyl groups here is the longest chain that includes the maximum possible number of hydroxyl groups and the substituents are bromo, chloro and ethyl the next step is to number the carbon atoms in the longest chain if we start numbering from the left side the hydroxyl groups are going to be at carbons 1, 4 and 5 but if we start numbering from the right side the hydroxyl groups are going to be at carbons 1, 2 and 5 so we start numbering from the right side to give the hydroxyl groups the lowest number possible and the name of this compound is going to be 5-bromo, 5-chloro, 3-ethyl, 1-2-5 pentane triol and we use the triol since we have three hydroxyl groups and now guess what it's your practice time 
and now you'll have the chance to check your understanding pause the video during the countdown copy the structure try to name it and then continue the video to check your answer if it's true or not the answer is going to be displayed directly after the countdown is over I hope that you like this video please stay tuned because in the next video we're going to talk about ketones don't forget to check the description for useful links and now you are ready to solve the end of video questions please if you are not repeat the video again otherwise solve the questions put your answer in the comment section if you have any question that I didn't cover in the video please share it with me in the comment section share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more videos See you on other videos and good luck.